Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. In your PND. But our brother forgets very easily. And the reason is very simple because he likes speeches, he likes talking. And it is only talk, talk, talk without action. My brother, learn to walk the talk and not to just talk the talk. You condemned this idea of calling people in one place to hand over uh, vehicles. Government, since Kaunda's time, has been buying vehicles for the police. We've never seen where they've taken all the vehicles in a stadium, call people from the expense that people who traveled, mayors traveled, council uh, officials, chiefs traveled to come and witness that. That's a waste of uh, government resources. That money that was used to travel and come and uh, lodge those people in hotels could have been used to, to do something reasonable other than just uh, displaying, uh, you know, the handover of, of, of vehicles. How many vehicles have been bought from the Kaunda time? Mr. Sata bought ambulances for almost all the hospitals in the country. Did you see any handover ceremony? Mr. Sata bought President Michael Sata's government bought vehicles. President Manawasa's government bought ambulances, bought vehicles. Did you see any handover ceremony? When you see that, just know that this regime has got no plan. The only thing is to show off. The only thing is to show off. So... Please, don't trust what this government says. They are full of nothing but lies. Full of nothing but lies. Somebody saying that he, uh, I, I, I can't even read this name uh, properly. He's saying that PF employed 4,000 teachers in, in seven years. UPND has employed 40,000 teachers. Don't be, li don't be cheated. In the 10 years of PF, over 20,000 teachers were employed. Over 20,000 teachers were employed. So, and you must know that at the time that PF was employing these, these uh, teachers, there were very few schools. Today, PF built a lot of schools which need these teachers. So circumstances are different circumstances are different so never be misled this government will not do anything if we don't take them to task if we don't ask them to account for their word for their pronounce, pronouncements they are full of nothing but all lies so that recruitment uh, you know, health workers' recruitment has not been put over, put off because of confirmations and uh, and uh, and promotions. It is because there is no money. So we need to be told the truth. Look at the way HH used to condemn travels by President Ed Galungu, and before Ed Galungu, uh, uh, President Lupia Banda. He named them Kamwendo Munjila. He used to say that money that the president is using to travel, we can use it to bet, we can put it to, to better use. We can use it to pay uh, university fees for our children. We can use them to build more schools. What is he doing today? He has traveled 59 times in two years. 
beating all other presidents and you uh, Zambians wants to say no he's going to market the country it's not the job of the president to market the country we have ZDA we have ambassadors and high commissioners accredited to this to this uh, to these uh, foreign and uh, you know uh, our, our neighbors what is so urgent about paying a, a state visit to Italy at the time that the economy is uh, in, in, in dire stress? What was so urgent? Yes, you can be invited to visit as head of state, but you have to look at the pocket. You have to look at the pace of the country. Do you have the resources at the moment? How many foreign dignitaries or foreign uh, uh, presidents do we see coming here all the time? So, this idea of traveling all the time and everywhere is not right for the president. I challenge the, the government today to give us how much the president has spent on the 59 uh, trips. When you be given the cost of these 59 trips, you'll be so shocked. It is colossal sums of money. So the same way President Akainde uh, Ichilema uh, was condemning travels by uh, uh, President Edgar Lungu and President Rupia Banda, it's the same way he should condemn himself. But the problem of our brothers got no conscience. You can't be doing things that you, you were condemning. It doesn't work out that way. Then it is clear that you are not ready to change. Today and the other day we heard of some people being killed at the hands of the police and the ZNS. I want to know what President Aga Inde Ichilema is going to say. Because when the police, when people were killed at the hands of the police in previous governments, he said it is President Lungu was killing the people. Up to now, he says, the way he killed Lawrence Banda, the way he killed Mapenzi. So now, does it imply that you are also the one killing these people that have been killed by the police? In Sony Ubuntu. In Sony Ubuntu. So abantu bapfile abo bepe kuri ba police ni we bo president aka inde ichile ma we we pay because for wale baba nobe ateba le ipaya life has got a, a, a very funny way of teaching people lessons so this should teach you a lesson that it is not president ed galungu was killing these people it is just a mistake of the police you cannot say the mistake of ZN, ZNS in Mufrila two days ago can be attributed to you as president. That's being unreasonable. So from today, going forward, stop saying, Lungu, you killed our people. Lungu used to kill our children. Because if you ever say that, we we'll also say you are killing people. You are even saying, PF used to kill people. Yesterday somebody said uh, UPND police have killed people. And uh, most of the UPND cadres were responding, no, it's not UPND, it is the police. It is not UPND. But it was good for you to be saying, and right for you to be saying, PF killed people. President Ed Galungu killed people. But it is, it is, it is not right to say that UPND and Haga Inde killed the our uh, 15 year old and the other man was killed in police cells in uh, in Mukosh. Insoni e wuntu. Insoni e wuntu. Mule kwata kwa insoni. Mule kwata kwa insoni. Tapali eko mkaya. So learn a lesson that when police make a mistake, it is not you as president. It is not the party in government. And by the way, People must not go scot free. Those who killed the, the, the young man in Mukushi, those who killed the young boy two days ago in Mufrila, must be brought to book and punished. 
In fact, that is a capital punishment. That's murder. There should be no excuse whatsoever. Action must be taken. Now that you know that it's not Lungu and PF were killing people, apologize to the people of Zambia for your word, which you have consistently, as president, accused the PF and President Edgar Lungu of having killed the, those people you always talk about. Nobody, nobody would be happy to see a life lost. The way Mapenza was killed was not right. The way Lawrence Banda was killed was not right. Equally, the way the people have been killed under UPND is not right. And individuals and the uh, uh, institutions must be held accountable. In fact, in developed countries, the commander of the ZNS should have resigned on moral grounds. The inspector general of police for these killings should, be, should resign on moral grounds. The president has not even said the word. So I feel so sorry for the uh, for the for those that have have, have have been disappointed as regards the uh, recruitment of health workers but i can tell you that there is light at the end of the tunnel forget about this lying government they lie there they lied their way to government they continued lying that's why Kaunda used to say lies in the morning, lies in the afternoon, lies, in the, lies every time. This is what this government is doing. Masewa, my sister, in Sony, a wound too. And stop misleading the people that are the president traveling all over. We are going to develop this country. The answers to develop this country are here back home. What are we getting from our mineral resources? Are the mineral resources in our hands as Zambians or in the hands of foreigners? Bane, ababa sungu, ababa sungu, tabatu temwa. Tabatu temwa. All they want is to make Africa perpetuate, pe perpetually in uh, poverty so that we can be going with a begging ball. And when they find somebody who is driving their agenda they would love you and they will invite you all the time and every time and you are very good you are hard working wish go you are a failed leader why should africa and zambia in particular continue suffering with the mineral wealth that we have up to now sigilite we are not doing anything about it. Because sincerely, God, we are not uh, harnessing those uh, resources. Then you want to go and say, no, the president is selling the country to bring direct foreign investment. That we are develop as long as we are getting only taxes from our minerals. We need to share in the profits. And how do we share in the profits? We need to increase our shareholding in the mining, uh, in the mining uh, uh, companies. If we can't exploit the resources for the benefit of this country, better we leave the minerals in the ground so that uh, future generations can come and make right decisions. Stop when you come president every time Tamuli Muchalo that are going to look for investors. Investors who, are, who you are giving conditions that are, uh, only favor them. Amunina ne chino chalo potufikile nipali wana nembuleni. Inena alimiyevele during the campaign that umunensu yo as a problem. Because I went and uh, uh, I, I, I got close to him, and I, uh, I uh, kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, cross-examined him. 
I tried to find out from him what was the plan for the country. Really, what plan did he have for the country? I found there was none. The agenda was only personal gain. Personal gain. And to Chiritule, God bless Zambia. Chishimba Kamrid, signing off. Thank you. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.